So here we are, the room um, that houses the uh, the simulator is about 13 feet long by 5 feet wide. The projector that I'm using is a Panasonic uh, AE900U. And then the screen that is made up from um, signboard. Eighth, I believe it's an eighth of an inch signboard which measures 96 inches wide by 36 inches high. Um, I just got it from a sign shop for $27 I think for a sheet that was 96 by 48. I just cut it back. The Motion Sim is uh, a primarily a modified FREX system with a custom built front end and uh, the computer that, uh, that runs the, the whole thing. is uh, an Intel Core i7. I've got uh, 12 gigabytes of, of RAM. Um, I use a Coolmaster Real Power Pro 1000 power supply and I got two um, NVIDIA 295 GTX's in an SLI configuration. Now what I did for uh, to change between games is from the cockpit or the joysticks to a wheel is I just installed a simple sliding tray on the bottom of the uh, the cockpit. So if I want to use joysticks I just pull out, pop the joysticks on it. If I don't want to use it I just push it away and the wheel mounts uh, right on the top there. The side there you see that it is fully adjustable, um, it'll swivel towards uh, back and forth, it'll also go up and down uh, and right there I installed two linear bearings that actually the cockpit's mounted to that allows me to pull the thing forward and back if my kids want to play. And there you see the right hand side with the, uh, the linear, linear bearings. I fabbed up a couple of handles so they can uh, like a quick release and the little black thing there is a, a small Sony speaker. It works very well, it just means that if, if the kids want to play they can move the, the steering wheel forward so they can reach it as well as the pedals and then when I want to play I just move it back so uh, I'm in a good driving position. Ok well that's about it for the Frex. Now moving on to the screen itself, uh, I just fired up the computer and as you can see the, the image that's projected on the screen is distorted due to the angles of the screen. You see like there it, uh, it's a little too big and it, it's just uh, the, the shape of the image is just totally wrong. You'll see down the bottom of the screen there and then the image flies off the bottom. So what we need to do is correct that image and what we do we use this program here. Basically what it does it allows you to adjust the image to suit um, whatever you're shooting your image onto, whatever shape, um, be it round, cylindrical, flat, square, whatever you want, you can then adjust the image to fit that shape so it doesn't distort. I just got the basic one which is for one projector but they actually do make it if you want a uh, three projector set up Ram. you can know you can buy the one for three projectors ok we're going to go to Wings of Prey
I'm just going to let the, the film run so you can get a concept or get an idea of, of what this software does. That's just a small monitor that I have down by the side with uh, the same image that I have on, on the large screen. Now the throw distance from my projector, um, I actually need about another two feet but I don't have it so I can't actually fill the whole width of the screen. I lose probably six inches each side. now we're in the actual game um, my little boy's piloting so please don't look at the skill of the pilot it's uh, that's not what this is about the the, uh, the concept is is to show the immersion factor using a, a large screen or a large curve screen now you see how the wings are bent down um, it all depends on on the on the angle of the the, the image uh, sometimes they're bent, it, it just really all depends, but seeing that most people fly from the cockpit, as you can see the cockpit is, is pretty good, there's, uh, there's no real distortion. Now what I'm trying to do here is get a shot of what it would look like when you're actually sitting in the seat. To me it's kind of deceiving, I mean you, you look at this and it looks pretty cool. The, the image is big, it's, it, it's like a a great image but for me personally I don't think you get the immersion factor going with this with this idea of a, a large curved screen um, what I'm gonna do is the, the the next video that I'm gonna put up probably in a two or three weeks time uh, I'm constructing a dome where I can use a rear projection and hopefully that's gonna give uh, better immersion than than I feel that this does. Anyway, just enjoy the rest of it and, uh, you know, get the idea. I'll just flip the camera around a little bit and, uh, and you can draw your own conclusions or make your own judgments if it's worth uh, you guys investing the time and money to do this. Oh, yeah. One last thing, what you might see at the bottom of the screen there, that's a track IR. The problem with the track IR on a projector is that you can't mount it in the right place because it's getting the, the full um, light from the projector, so it doesn't work very well. So I haven't found a way yet or where I can mount it that it doesn't interfere, get interfered with the, the light from the projector and it actually works. Um, I tried it on the bottom of the screen but then it, it it doesn't catch everything. Um, we're turning the light on now just so you can have a look. Uh, there's a small screen and you can see the software working and how the wings are bent down and then we're going to go back to the big screen and that'll pretty much do it. Anyway, feel free to post your comments or, you know, ask some questions and uh, I'll do my best to answer them for you. Thanks a lot.